Hi, I'm Muhammad Ismail, CEO of Propnex, Singapore's largest homegrown real estate agency. Ask Ismail Gaffor is a weekly segment whereby I will update you on the latest market trend policies or for that matter any consumer who posts a question asking about their concern. Today, the key topic that I would like to share with you in the next 4-5 to five minutes will be about is it still worth investing in property? And is it a myth when people say that why do you want to invest in property when you can't make a lot profit? In my view, in fact, when the fundamentals are right, particularly in Singapore, one could still get returns of 500% or even more. Sounds amazing, maybe even doubtful. Is it really true? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to explain a scenario. How is this is possible? The key issue or the key concern one should always take note in investing in any property here is rental yield. Can your property generate a form of a rental that could well be utilized to pay for the loan? And one of the other aspects here is, are we able to leverage? What do I mean by leverage? When we buy a property, unlike shares and stocks, where you need to commit the entire amount, no doubt you could do some contra and margin call, but by and large you will have to have the entire amount. But on the other hand, when we talk about investing in property, the advantage of being leveraging here is you could take an 80% loan with a 20% outlay. And in the long term, when the capital appreciate, you are going to have a huge return on your equity. And therefore, that's what we are talking about. We are talking about 500% more would you be able to achieve based on the outlay that you are committing now. Today in Singapore, you'll be surprised. There will be a launch uh, probably in the next month or so. And this particular development is known as High Park. I'm just giving that as an example. But this is applicable in many properties in many parts of Singapore. And we come to understand a studio apartment going at an absolute price of less than $400,000. So I'm giving a very lower quantum example so that more of us can easily afford. And if one wants to buy this and come out with a 20% outlay, the outlay means 20% will be $80,000. And let's say even we put another 4% that is included for the stamp fee, legal fee and all other incidentals. Therefore, you need to come out with, let's say, another 4% um, will be $16,000. Therefore, with an outlay of $96,000, and this either you can use your CPF or cash, whichever component, I'm not going to go into the details because you can always ask to any of our product salesperson. The key issue here is this, if we come out with 20%, what happened to the 80%? And therefore, assuming we take an 80% loan, okay, and 80% loan, we will we are talking about a $320,000 loan. Over a period of 25 years, if you can secure this at 2% interest rate, which you are able to secure, the monthly installment is only about $1,356. Assuming you think that, hey, 2% is not in a fair amount, over time it will go up, fine. Even if you take it up to 3%, the monthly installment is $1,516. Therefore, at a rate of about $1,350-$1,500, that is the amount your installment you have to pay for a $320,000 over a period of 25 years. My question here is this. Would you be able to rent this particular property that you purchase at 320,000 loan at a 400k quantum? Would you be able to rent? That is the key because rental yield will make the major difference. So, put it this way. If you are investing in a condo with full facilities, with clubhouse, with swimming pool, with tennis court, with all other amenities being included, why not? Look at it. And a HDB master bedroom with no facilities today command eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Therefore, to rent out a studio apartment completely for thousand five hundred dollars is a very doable. Assuming you take inflation at three percent, twenty five years of three percent is seventy five percent, and 
that is not being compounded. Is it highly like highly possible that the property that you bought at 800 400,000 could well attain a 800k? And I think this is very possible. Why I say it's very possible? Because purely of inflation. Therefore, 25 years later, the entire loan is fully paid by the tenant and you are able to sell it at 800. Next simple question here is this, what is your return on your investment? If you remember, we said that we came out with 20%, which was $80,000. We also included a 4% for stamp fee and all other incidental of another $16,000. Therefore, our outlay of equity was 96 k Today, 25 years later, we are going to sell it for 800 k And that's the price. Because the loan are loan are been fully paid, you are going to receive the entire check for eight hundred thousand with an outlay of ninety six thousand. So what is the return? A very clear indication in this scenario, we are getting at least seven hundred percent return. How do I say your hundred thousand become eight hundred thousand? It gives your return of seven times over. That is the key fundamental about investing in property. And why a lot of people are buying a second and a third property? Simply because of the key issue that I said, you could well leverage. But I just need to caution. Are there downside to this? Yes, there are downside to any property investment in the short term. Therefore, I'm not asking you to speculate. I in, I'm advising you to buy a property with a long term time horizon, at least five, 10 years and beyond. When you buy a property at the right location, especially in Singapore's land scarce with our ever increasing population and a greater demand, all other fundamentals being sound, believe me, there's a huge opportunity out there. And in fact, indeed, this is a bias market. Developers are pricing it right. The property that was I was giving an example is something that is going to be launched at the Fernwheel and it is going to be price starting at less than 400,000 for a studio apartment. Is it affordable? It's very affordable as a second property for many people. Yep. For that matter, even if you're a single, imagine if you are renting a home and paying a rent of $1,000 to $900. Why don't you buy and you stay, or for that matter, if you're not comfortable, rent it out to someone, and yet the property over time is fully paid up. That's the power of investing in real estate where the leveraging your money and your return on your equity is at its very positive in the long term. Five to seven hundred percent. And if you are lucky in a good property cycle, you may not even need to wait for 25 years. With that, the very best in investing in property investment and do your necessary due diligence and happy investing.